Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com and today we're going to be looking at a coffee product instead of something electronic. Uh, specifically, we'll be looking at this disc coffee filter. It's from a company called Coava. At least that's how I think it's pronounced. It's C-O-A-V-A-Coffee.com if you want to learn about it. Anyway, this is a little metal filter disc that works with an AeroPress, which is a uh, way of making coffee. Uh, they also make a product called the Cone which has gotten more press in this disc and the cone is uh, it uses the same manufacturing method but it's a, a filter cone that's meant to be used with a Chemex or a V60 or some other drip style method so I have uh, everything set up right here and uh, we're gonna do a quick test this will be my first run through with the disc filter but uh, read up on it asked some people about it and I'm uh, pretty familiar with AeroPress right here this is a normal AeroPress filter it's just sort of a, a piece of paper they come in packs of, uh, I don't know, maybe 300. They're, uh, they're pretty cheap. They work well enough. You can see, uh, camera's probably not gonna pick up too many details, but uh, they're fine. You know, they have uh, a lot of the issues that people have with paper filters. So uh, I have my water here, it's just off boil, and uh, let's get started. So uh, the, I bought this at RBC Coffee, which is a coffee shop by me here in Manhattan. And uh, the guy said uh, he's really liking the disc so far. And uh, one thing he noted was that you could use a little bit finer grind, a little bit coarser grind rather, than uh, with the paper. And that the uh, result is a, is a coffee that is a little bit more murky than uh, a paper filter. So it's a little bit more like what you're getting out of a, uh, a French press. So it uh, fits right in, as you can see. This slides in here. This goes on your mug. And now we're gonna dose in the coffee. I'm just using approximate everything here just to, uh, just for the purposes of this video. I'm not gonna measure anything out. My water is just off boil. Uh, I think there's, there's a lot of debate over what temperature you're using with the AeroPress. You know, their uh, standard temperature is pretty low. I've been experimenting with something a little bit higher, so definitely off boil though. I'm gonna mix it up. Seal it up, and then there's uh, the steep time. Uh, AeroPress says, I think, I think they say 10 seconds on the box or something like that. I don't think that's enough. I usually do something more like 20 and then uh, there's the actual amount of time that you're gonna push down on it. Again, I think you're gonna do that a little bit slower, about 20. Uh, if you're really curious about the different stuff, you should, uh, about all these different variables rather, you should check out brewmethods.com. There's a lot of good write-ups there on uh, best practices and what people have found with different methods of brewing and AeroPress is uh, there's at least 10 or 15 different options there if you want to read what the experts have to say. Uh, that's getting on 20 seconds, so we'll give it a press. Mm, it's definitely harder to press than a, uh, a paper filter. So I might have ground it, uh, grinded the coffee, ground the coffee too fine because this is not going down very easily. It might have clogged the filter is what I'm saying. Although, like I said, the guy I talked to bef at the coffee shop said he hadn't had any issues with this uh, with this clogging up. Let's put that aside. And uh, there's not how much you could see with the coffee. Now we'll put it in. Usually, uh, depending on your other variables, you might want to do like a one-to-one -one ratio with the amount of uh, dilution. But uh, here goes. Pretty good. Uh, I think I ground it too finely. It's gonna be hard to pick up the grind size, but I did this one step into fine on a Capresso burr grinder. 
So this is a little bit strong. Not bad, but definitely uh, a little heavy. I'm not getting the sort of uh, French press grit in the coffee that I expected. But uh, it's a solid cup of coffee, and uh, it's going to be a nice way to play with the AeroPress. Which this is a, it's a fun, cool, uh, fun tool for making coffee. I don't really use it so much for uh, espresso or uh, the kind of faux espresso that they say you can. I, I like it for a cup of coffee. Anyway, there you have the uh, Coaba disc coffee filter for the AeroPress. Uh, sooner or later, I'll test out the one for the filter cone. And uh, we could run through that. So that looks like a lot of fun too. Uh, I would say definitely uh, this costs $15. So that's a lot of paper filters. But uh, $15 really isn't that bad for a cool coffee espresso and to support, uh, you know, my local coffee shop. And then what seems to be a pretty cool shop out in Oregon. I think that's where they're made. So I'm going to keep experimenting. And uh, hopefully I'll get some better idea on how to use this thing. But so far I'm uh, pretty happy with it. I'm looking forward to testing that more. So this is Sal from Geek.com. Thanks for watching.